Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chika. I am an entrepreneur in Lusaka, Zambia, and I produce at least one video a week. But this December, I've been a little bit more generous. So feel free to scroll back and experience my escapades. Today, I'm going to talk about the various different salons that I have visited and got my blue braids done. I'm going to touch on my experience for the guys, for the boys, for the men that are watching this video, particularly the ones that have been asking for clips of Lusaka. I have managed to scrape together some clips of where these places are so you get to have what you're asking for. Right, I'm going to start with my first experience last year. I wanted mini Senegalese twists done. I was told to go and see the men from Tanzania. So they are located in North Mead. I believe it's called North Mead Market. It's directly opposite Melissa. You just go into the market and ask for the men from Tanzania. They'll produce a variety of different sizes. They only do small braids. So it starts from small to teeny tiny. They are fast. You usually have about three people working on your head at one time. They have a technique that's pretty unusual but quite effective. They'll twist to the end of your hair and then they rub the rest on their knees, which is why it's so quick. It took about three hours, three and a half hours to do my head and I have a big head and the density of my hair is quite a lot. It's not glamorous, you're in a market, I would say take a shitenge or something to sit on, otherwise you're going to be on a cardboard box. Possibly you could end up with knees in your face, hands in your face, all sorts. There's no, <laughs> there isn't really a level of customer service there, it's literally get your hair done and go. Apparently they're affordable, but I have a British accent, I was also very naive last time I travelled. They wanted to charge me I think 4 50 When I got back to the office and I told the staff how much they paid, they were in absolute horror and they said they could get that done for 150 kwacha. I'm not sure if that's possible because that 400 also includes the extensions or wigs as they call it, which I, that's also quite an interesting phrase here. In Zambia, wigs means everything. Expressions I would call extensions and a wig I would identify as an actual wig that I can put on and take off. But hair, everything's a wig. Anything that gets attached to your head is a wig. Out of all the places that I'm going to talk to you about, Beauty Stop is one of the easiest ones to find. The pros of going to Beauty Stop is that they're fast, they're easily accessible, they take walk-ins practically at any hour. They have staff. That place, they have staff. I have gone in probably at 14 hours, like 14.30 for braids done. And I would never ever do that anywhere else. And I've been in and out there within three hours. They don't sigh, they don't huff, they don't puff, they just get on with it. As soon as I sit down, somebody's on my head. And I'm lucky enough, because people are generally just quite fascinated by the blue, I've had four people doing my hair at one time. But there's one particular girl, I wish I could remember her name. She is quick and neat. So again, when you walk in, they will show you a chart of the different size braids and they do bigger sizes there. It also has the price on top, so there's that transparency. I think you can get your hair washed and blow dry within the package, but I wouldn't even bother. Like I have seen the way they wash Delicious hair and it's literally in and out. Another plus is you can also get manicure and pedicure done there. So if you're getting your braids on at the same time, you'll usually have two people in your hair and then one person doing your nails. So it's really, really speedy and they take card as well. If they say to you that their machine's broken, they all, they have two machines there. So don't let them con you because I, I feel as though the first time I went there, they're overcharged. But now I always pay by card. So at least if they're overcharging me, it goes straight to the owner. So con, their practices in there are shocking. For kids, it must be so traumatic. They're always kids crying in there. They rape the blow dryer through these young girls' hair and adults' hair as well. I saw a client having her edges and part of her regrowth relax while it was in braids. I mean, why would you do, like it means that the relaxer is on your scalp. I, I couldn't imagine anything worse, just to have your edges laid. If I'm going to Beauty Stop, one, I'm washing and conditioning uh, my hair before I go there. When they braid your hair, there's no combing out, there's none of that. They literally section and braid. So make sure that your hair is prepared. That applies to all of the salons that I'm going to talk about today. Make sure that your hair is prepped unless you're going to allow them to wash, condition, blow dry. The cost of getting your hair done at Beauty Stop is 
300 kwacha. The next place is Unit 29 at the corner mall. Again, this is in North Me. Um, you can even walk through the market or a side road straight down to the corner mall. Go inside. Unit 29. Out of all the salons, they're the most affordable. It's 250 kwacha to get your head graded there. But it will take you long. That really and truly, there's one woman that does your hair. Sometimes other stylists will chip in, but ultimately you have one stylist doing your hair. I don't particularly like the finish. I feel as though they were not uniform. There were some that were quite chunky, then others that were small. And then also the way that it was attached to so this part here, the way that it was attached to my hair. It, this is not from there by the way was done like really bulky I, I was constantly worried about my edges and as the time went on i found that it was just really heavy lastly valilla in Mandahill Mall. By Nando's there's some stairs. If you go up the stairs, Melilla is based there. I think out of all of them, they might be the most expensive. The women there take direction. Now when I go there, I take my own products because I've gone there before and had my hair washed and had a treatment. It was not a treatment, okay? And now when I go in, I say, okay, I've got my own conditioner. I've got my own deep conditioner. I want to be under the steamer for at least 25 minutes to 30 minutes before you take me out when you blow dry my hair I need you to comb it out with a white to comb in sections first then blow dry it's going to be easier for you less painful for me my last experience was amazing it cost me 500 kwacha to get my hair washed treated and braided with my own products it sounds mad honestly I know there's some people that are going to be shaking their head but for me when I get my hair done or I'm getting my nails done, I just want to have a lovely experience. There's no cost on self-care, so I'm happy to pay it. So yeah, when you go to Villa Lart, speak up. Don't be scared to speak up. Otherwise, you're going to have a questionable experience because a lot of these hairstylists have little to no knowledge of how to properly manage natural hair. There's an, a con that doesn't apply to me, but for you single women out there, a vanilla salon is also a barber shop. So you know us women, when we're going into the salon, we look not quite our best. So if a nice, cute, handsome man walks in to get his hair cut and he sees you and you're looking like, mm, yeah, I completely forgot. Afropology. So I have a review and I will link it in the cards and also in the description bar because y'all yeah, already know how I feel about that. Quarterly I, try, I get a trim now and I've done my trim. I just wanted to go somewhere that I felt as though I knew what they will do with natural hair, which they do, it's just the customer service. And you know how I feel about customer service now, right? Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, give me a like. I never say that. It's a bit cheesy. It's okay. Peace and love in every language.